Greetings. Thank you for giving us the privilege of being able to come to you and journey with you day after day as we spend time together in the Word of God and prayer. We trust that we would be of blessing to you and encourage you as you walk with God and grow in your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. This week, I want us to take some time and uh, deal with something that's very important, especially in given the current situations global, with so many things happening around the world, with leaders changing, nations changing, upheavals, turmoils, tumults. Many of us could be fearful about our future. Young people could be fearful, you know, which college will I get admission into? Will I be able to go to college? Uh, what happens after? Will I get a job? Some people thinking about marriage, will I be able to find the right person for my life? So many things that um, concerning the future can cause fear in our hearts right now. And it is sad, but true nonetheless, that many believers could be gripped by fear about things that are out in the future. They're afraid right now. They're concerned right now about things that, you know, about what will happen some months from now, sometimes some years from now. And that fear of that unknown is already affecting their lives. And so we want to address that. We want to talk about the Word of God that gives us faith for the future so that today we can be people of faith for things that we do not know, things that may be some months before us, years ahead of us. But today we can have faith and confidence that those things will turn out fine. And we're going to see from the Word of God why we can have that kind of faith so that today we can be happy, we can be cheerful, we can be calm, we can be confident, we can be full of faith, even about what is still unknown in the future. We want to begin today by looking at Jeremiah 29 and verse 11, where God is speaking to His people, and uh, the context is very important. The people of God are right now in exile. They've been taken captive by a Babylonian king. Uh, many of them have been taken away from their homeland and they're in exile in a foreign land, in a place that is very unfamiliar to them, among a people that are uh, unfamiliar to them. And in the middle of all of this, God speaks through his prophet and he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I know the thoughts I think toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. So in the middle of all of this, you know, it is quite possible that the people of God are wondering, what happened to our God? Is he really mad with us? Is he really upset? Is he really angry? What kind of thoughts? Maybe he's you know, if things have gotten this worse, maybe they're going to get even worse. And this is our end. This is the doom. It's the end of everything. But God is assuring His people, my thoughts for you really are thoughts of peace, thoughts of shalom, of well-being for you. They are thoughts to give you a good future, a future full of hope, is what God is saying. And you know, we could take this word for us today because God is still the same. Yes, times have changed. The people that he's working with, he's working with us and not them. But who God is has not changed. Today, when God thinks about you, his thoughts for you are thoughts of good, thoughts of peace, to give you a future and a hope. The God of this universe has his eyes on you and he is telling you, I am going to give you a good future. What more assurance do you and I need? Remind yourself of Jeremiah 29, 11. 
God's thoughts for you are always good. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we could be people full of faith, full of hope, full of courage, full of confidence about our future because of you. And you know the plans you have for us, plans that are good to give us a good future and our future full of hope. Let this grip our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.